Hey, welcome to this week's video. I'm just gonna talk this time about something that's been circulating in my mind a lot lately. And that is, what is the difference between cosplaying and costuming? Is there a difference? The short answer is nobody really agrees and keep on using whatever terminology you like. Anyone who gives you a hard time about it just needs to get over it themselves. Okay, that's the whole video. Bye. No, we're not getting out that easily because even though there's a different definition for each person who's ever heard of either word, there's still some interesting linguistic things to unpack here. The odd thing that I find is that there's, there's an interesting kind of gatekeeping dynamic, uh, both on the side of people who want to call themselves cosplayers and those who want to call themselves costumers. On one hand, you have people who, people who adopt a very narrow definition of cosplay. This is, oh, well, you must, you, you must be playing the character that you're dressed up as. You must be a named character from a show. So if, if you're Darth Vader, you're cosplaying, but if you're just a, a stormtrooper, then you're not. There's people who say that it's, it's only cosplay if you're from the anime region of Japan, otherwise it's just sparkling dress up. And you know, that's enough to be obnoxious, but you also get really nasty kind of toxicity. Toxicity. Toxicity is my new word that I'm inventing today. Nasty kinds of toxicity with that sort of mindset, because then you also get in the people who say, if you're not exactly accurate, then it's not cosplay and it doesn't count. And then that gets even further into the, if you don't look like the character, if your skin color or body type is, or age is different, then that's not really cosplay. You're not really, then I'm like, if, if I need to explain to you why that's wrong, then I'm serious, please don't come near me. Meanwhile, in costuming land, you have people who are very put off by the word, oh, I'm my, trying to knock over my tripod here. That wasn't even the cat, that was me. You have people who are very put off by the word cosplay. And the, these are people who are like, oh, well, that's a serious craft that I do. Cosplay is, they either think it's kinky because it has the word play in it, or oddly enough thinks it's a childish thing because it has the word play. And I feel like that's probably a whole other topic to unpack that duality. And then there's also people who say, well, I was costuming for so many years and it, cosplay is just this new word that the, the kids came up with. And it's a newer term, yes, but to say it's this new phrase that the kids just came up with, it's been in use, not widespread, but in use since the 80s. And calling it a, a new trendy word is kind of like calling millennials children. Like we're both, we're both in our thirties. Thank you. I, I try to be respectful of the fact that to some people the eighties may have felt pretty recently, but it's, I'm sorry, it's longer ago than we all probably like to think. And what I would like to say in regard to the people who think that it's a, a lesser art form, whew, if you are pouring hours over research into the exact steam pla steam placement, if you are pouring hours into the exact seam placement and stitching used in one particular jacket, for example, from one particular year, and you can pick out what makes the fashion from this year different than the next. I hate to be the one to tell you, you probably are doing very similar work and have a very similar mindset and very similar skill set to somebody who's 
playing their video game and hitting pause and taking screenshots every half second so they can get their giant Final Fantasy sword to look just like it did in the game. The main point that I wanted to circle back to is that the word cosplay and all its derivatives, cosplayer, I cosplay, cosplaying, he, she, etc., cosplays, it fills a unique void in its linguistic utility. Because if I am talking about a costumer, I could be referring to somebody like myself who makes and wears costumes they've made. I could also be referring to some friends of mine who are professional costumers in theater, in film, ballet, etc., who work in the craft of costuming, but they don't make what they wear. If I am talking about a cosplayer, I could similarly be talking about someone like myself. I would not be talking about my friends who work in film and theater and for the ballet and for the opera. I could be talking about my friends who buy costumes or have them commissioned and wear them, but have no interest in making their own, and that's, that's fine. Uh, I think it's uh, important to make the distinction. My friend who works for the opera does not do the same thing as my friend who simply dresses up at cons. I don't think calling them both costumers is correct, and I don't think calling them both cosplayers is correct, and that's not to say that one is doing something better than the other, but it's a, it's a different thing. And I like the word cosplay because it describes the action of wearing a costume. It, just the act of wearing a costume, or the noun cosplayer, somebody who is wearing a costume. If I were to say, Oh, yeah, I flirted with this drunk Batman cosplayer at DragonCon. You know that I'm referring to the person who is dressed up as Batman. It's a different word for a different thing. And I think looking down on it, especially if you're stomping down on something to elevate yourself, I don't think that's a good look. Thank you for watching this mess. All right now. Bye-bye.